And a bit about your bowling action. I know that it's um, you know one of those things that uh, people talk about a lot, but it, it just came naturally. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's just something you do. It's something uh, I teach kids. If you're not, I don't teach them that at the moment. I will do shortly. We're doing a website and all that because I'm sick of all this other rubbish going around. Um, you know, if, whatever you're born with, basically, that's your action. I mean, people don't know. You could have one leg longer than the other. You know, it could be a little bit out. Not everybody's even, you know. I mean, I don't think that many people are. And uh, so if you've got a style, I mean, that's the way it is. You've just got to work on it and uh, develop it. It's not, one of th- not, tra- not try to change it too much. One of the th- remarkable things about your career is you didn't have that many injuries compared to bowlers n- nowadays. No, I only had accidents, you know, oh, in the rest days and all that. <laughs> so, so if I played now, I wouldn't have any trouble. <laughs> no, no, it's... Uh, I, I still don't care what the so-called experts say, and I don't, I don't think they're experts. I think they're just, uh, you know, guessing. And guessing is not good when you're dealing with people's careers. Um, and that's... Um, just get out there and work hard. I mean, snooker players, dart players, swimmers, everybody else, bike riders and that, they don't have rest, do they? They don't do X amount. If you want you want to be really good, you just go out there and flog yourself, don't you? Until you, until you almost break. And then when you do play a game, you're laughing.